front lines of the Russia-Ukraine conflict are considered the most signal-dense conflict zone in human history. With the rise of drones and autonomous systems and the electronic warfare systems that combat them, the battle for the airwaves is just as fierce as the battle on the ground. From drones in the skies to targeted missile launches on the ground, the war in Ukraine is heavily dependent on technology. But U.S. officials warn Moscow may take drastic new measures to try to win the war. That, they say, could include expanding the conflict to space. As a result, position, navigation, and timing systems like GPS are all but unusable on the front lines of modern conflict. That's why the Space Force just created a new program, Resilient GPS, small PNT satellites to bolster the existing GPS fleet. And that's why Astronus is so honored to announce our selection for the Resilient GPS program with our newest Astronus product, Astronus Nexus. Today, there are 31 GPS satellites on orbit, just 31 shared among America's warfighters and the civilian population. Those satellites are extremely capable, but they've gotten so large physically that America has only launched six GPS satellites over the last seven years. If we can't launch more GPS satellites fast enough, we run the risk of satellites failing faster than we can replace them. Space Force's resilient GPS program is one answer to these problems, and our piece of the solution is Astronus Nexus. Nexus is a smaller satellite solely dedicated to the PNT mission for both commercial and government users. They can be built rapidly, and up to eight of them can fit on a normal, medium-class rocket. The Nexus design is heavily based on our existing satellite systems, which have already been flying in geostationary orbit. GPS orbits pass through the inner Van Allen belts, home of highly energetic proton plasma, galactic cosmic rays, and particles ejected from the sun. These sources of radiation can cause serious damage to electrical systems if you're not prepared. But Astronus has been preparing for about nine years. We know how to build satellites for high orbits, and we have the high rate production capabilities to build small satellites on time and under budget. That's why we're confident that we can not only meet Space Force's goal of eight satellites launched by 2028, but also launch dozens of these satellites to create a fully redundant GPS constellation. This program is exactly what America needs, and we are honored to be a part of it.